guys, welcome back to the mini video today. I am super excited and today I'm going to be showing you something that I was wishing to do all the time. So today is sort of giving you guys a tip about how to get a lot of loot from zero to a lot. So um, I'm not really into the game for a while, I have like not played it. And um, so today I'm going to show you guys what are some tricks to get a lot of loot. So basically the best tricks to make, first of all you don't want to use your dark elixir for raiding and for looting. So just put that in your storages, you don't care about those. But we do want barbarians, archers, and maybe, maybe, some cases giants. You just for taking damage, and also wall breakers to get storages. And yeah, so you use a barbarian. I use barbarian archers. That's what I think is the best. And goblins also is good. So barbarians are people are the part that takes the damage, and archers are the group that sort of steal from far. So yeah, that's good about it. And for the barbarian, the dark side, if they have a high health, slow, low damage, but goblins, fast, high damage, and just for mine. So, their top favorite target is the resources, which for, but for barbarian, is any. And last time I had some problem by saying barbarian, and I think I'm fine today. So, uh, you don't need to laugh at it. And uh, yeah, you could get the wall breakers. Uh, I do have right now. And the way that I do train my barbarians is the barbarian takes a little bit less time. So I put two wall breakers and the rest barbarian. Then the next one, two wall breakers, the rest barbarian. And then the last two are full archers. And I'll also use my king. It is really helpful and then I'm going to show you guys a defense and an attack. So let's get the defense that I just got. So first of all this guy if I was this guy I would attack this this base because there's something tricky about this. As you could see, the loots are high. Like, I have 300 elixir that you could steal from me. And why wouldn't you try to get it? And this is the problem. The searches are a little bit, like, they have a little bit. But you don't really could guess. So if I get this base, I will skip it. But I know it's a good choice for high level people to crush these guys. So you see my my uh, my collectors a little bit have a little bit they're not that much. So as my mines the gold mines and you could see the surges uh, my my gold surges have almost nothing, but you could get that much loot and it is awesome. So you could see it in here. So let's play the replay. So. This thing is exactly why I don't recommend archers, cause cannon just one shot them, and that's this is why exactly the cannons are so good against archers. They just one shot, and this is level five archer, and he has a max level um rain spell, which is really good for a, uh, and it's not. Like, it doesn't have the balance in his army. A king level 6 with the archer level 5, and a rain spell of level max, and max rain spell. He puts two rain spells, that is literally the stupidest thing I ever saw. Guys, if you put two rain spells together, it's not gonna make it times 4. Like, if it's times 2, it doesn't make it times 2, times 2 becomes 4. And then times two becomes eight, and then times two becomes sixteen. Like yeah, like high levels put like make all pick up, and then when it close, when you're trying to get the center, you put all your five rings well, and they get like sick. Like one shot town, one shot maximum wall. It's not gonna happen. So just one. 
but for healing so I believe it's not the same it'll like double up I think the lightning it's has a different story so it doesn't matter you put three in the same place so they're going to take your uh, several damage so if it's like 300 they would take 300 times 3 becomes 900 yeah I'm good at math so and the freeze spell you don't really put two in the same place because it doesn't do anything unless you wait until the freeze is gone and then you put the other one in which I never saw anyone done okay so if you are trying to attack and get loot first of all you shouldn't be in a ca clan cast clan because uh, you want to go and join a clan and just go on the clan and try to find requests or request and leave request and whatever request this request that what everything that has R E Q means join leave get the, your troops and basically that's what I want so I just join and you request it doesn't they don't you're not gonna give you whatever you ask so they're not gonna give me a dragon although my clan castle is almost full I just need two more and I wish to get them and you get pretty good you get a good troops it is all always a giant or barbarian or archer it's usually those and yeah that's that's the best ones because archer and barbarian are the, the what do you call um the cheapest so the cheapest troops and the giants give you takes a lot of space but cheap but they're useful to be honest. Should do attack. Some of the clans aren't active as much as the others. So you might need to make a choice. Sometimes they don't give you anything. But uh, they give you so some. Sometimes you get a max wizard viz. Which is really great. So I'm going to get back when I actually find a good battle. So this is actually the first one. And as you can see he has a lot of lot of loot there's none in the cultures or the mines but there's tons in the storages i could go for one side but no too risky you don't want to get go risky 100 it's okay but i'm fine and the best league i think is around the gold because they have dark and good uh, gold, gold and elixir. But in the silver, sometimes you find something that you wish you can find again. It is in those cases it is rare, but they give you a lot. So I'll be back when I find the actual base that I want to attack. Okay guys, we're back and I have chosen my the base that I want to attack. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of loot, but what do you want to take? The most important factors are the three mortars. One of them is getting leveled up, so it's basically a good advantage for me. And I'm going for three star, but I don't care. Okay, so you want to see if the clan case is empty? That's just great. I wouldn't ask for anything else. So I want to get the mortars out. So I'm just going to drop some. I assume they're going to be some giant bones. Yep, as I said, not giant bones, but a lot of traps. So now what you want to do, you want to show your... Those guys. The clan castle. Uh, let's get them in. And you want to use your heal spell as fast as you can see. The barbarians and the archers are getting down. Okay, I'm throwing everything in. Just get in the place. Do your best, guys. Now it's a little bit loud, so you won't hear me as good as you should. Oh, pff, a little bit too late for a heal spell there. Which is my bad. I think I don't want it to use any other troops. 
here I gotta do another attack from the top. So then you're gonna be a good distraction. The king is have to they, he have to take the all of them. So now you see they're distracted. The visitor is so annoying. Okay, the king is taking them out. We want them to get angry right now because the wizard is gonna try to kill them, which is bad. And we want that wall to get broke out. Now we're pretty much just starting this phase because there's no way that wizard is gonna take out my king. And be focused, even though if you don't need your king to get powered up, the bridge thing that happened. It gives him health, so you want to probably do it even if you don't need it, because it'll take because it can heal heal a little bit, so you don't need to wait a lot of time to for the king to get recovered. So this was a actually a good base. So if you're tunnel eight, tunnel seven, or six in amount of 150 loot, it's pretty good. And if it doesn't have a mortar. 100 loot is great, uh, although you use, I use all my troops. But, uh, and if you guys want to do this thing, you shouldn't even care about your trophies, because that will be a lot of trouble. So, I pretty much tell you guys from the beginning of the game, choose what you want to be, a trophy guy or a farmer. I think you got everyone gotta stop at silver for a long time, then move to gold and never go up. Cause there, if you go to champion, you wouldn't have a chance. I went to crystal one, and there was no chance for me to get up. So I'm not gonna do another attack, but uh, this is it. So basically, all you have to do just do your barbarian everywhere, just do the same thing. And yeah, and then you attack again. You don't have to have wall breakers. You could. It is useful for the storage, so it's better if you're targeting your storage. But if you're not, you don't need wall breakers to be honest. And some people ask me what I'm going to uh, upgrade next, which is a good question because I have elixir and my dart. So. I have two choices to go for a red spell or go for the minion for level 3, which is pretty damn cool for level 8. And I think it's a max minion for time light, don't get me wrong. I think. And yeah, this is pretty much it for today's episode. So, uh, you join a clan, you get your troops. You get it, you ready up your troops, just barbarian and archers, my recommendation, if you want, you can have giants or goblins, and maybe add some walkers, as I said, and that's it, with the, with the king, it's great, with the archer queen, you're almost getting everything, and it's pretty damn crazy, I don't have archer and queen, and I can't get it, and yeah, I am saving for my fifth builder, which is pretty amazing. Crazy and cool, or maybe I will just jam up my coin to get it for the first level. And yeah, as I said, this is uh, this is pretty much it for today's episode. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Please consider to leave a like and comment and share and subscribe and tell your friends and give me feedback. Do whatever you want. Feel free. This is feel free. It's like your friend's channel. Do whatever you want. Um, give me feedback. That's the important part. Because I want to know what what can I do to make my channel better. Also, we have I have made a, a website called uh, thediamonddude.bibli.com. Bibli is sort of a site you could make your own website. It's easy. You could just drag and drop your stuff. And it's pretty much the same thing as a YouTube. But I will put some comedy. Minecraft things, or maybe something you're interested about, uh, about the games that I do in Twitter. And also, I'm giving you guys this. This is a little bit for the future. I'll be adding uh, another channel that would be just about my personal life, which is 
cool for me because I want to share my abilities and have fun. So let's just stop this talking and not be boring for you guys. And let's get that push out of here. And yeah, as I said, like, comment, subscribe, share, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and good. Bye!